Good ball movement. He put that pass in the ideal spot, right where it needed to be. Here's Bledsoe. Beal pulls it in. That's kind of a shocker. The defense was there, but it wasn't right in his face. Kind of out of character for him to miss those. And Sessions kicks to Beal. Puts up the baby hook. And that one's good by Gortat. 59 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Knight. Beal with it. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against the Lakers. Sessions dishes to Gortat. Gortat with a screen on Bledsoe. The kick outside to Butler. No good with the triple. For the Washington Wizards, they come in off the loss to the Lakers in Los Angeles. Kevin, that game defensively was an absolute nightmare. They went into that building. And, and what a feeling it's got to be for this young player is that last bucket represents the first official score in the NBA from the mayor. That's a basket he'll never forget. Guys, the only question now is how many more of them does he have ahead? I know the answer to that one, Steve. A bunch. And it's not going to take him long to get him either. This guy can score. Offensive rebound. Len. Foul this call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. They're going to make you earn it from the line. For Phoenix, they have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. Well, how about the numbers for this club? Uh, as a team, 79% from the free throw line this year. Those are good numbers for any team. I mean, they can feel extremely good about their free throw shooting percentage this season. Both good from the line that time. Gets it off. No good. And that concludes a high-scoring first quarter with both teams tied up. And we'll be back with you right after this. Second, Zach Randolph and the Memphis Grizzlies take on Eric Bledsoe and the Phoenix Suns. It's Western Conference action. Make sure to catch it. And we welcome you back to the NBA here on 2K Sports. If you're just tuning in, this is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. And we're ready to get going once more. The players having a chance to have a short break and get runs with a completely new group on the floor. And then for Washington, Pierce comes in for Gortat. And Rasul Butler's subbed in for Sessions. The mayor in at power forward. Bledsoe is out there with Brandon Knight. Then there's Len. And it's Tucker in at the three set. That's who's out there for Phoenix. And good on the basket. Book it. They really flip things around offensively. Well, anytime you can make more than half your shots, Clark, you take that any day of the week. Eric Bledsoe is still on the come as a playmaker and shooter, but because of his great physical gifts, he is certainly a rising star in the NBA. Suns leading by 14. Now, here is Knight. Last game, he had 10 points, and it's going to be a three-second call. Check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. We look at San Antonio earning the first place position with a terrific record. And we've seen them perform splendidly pretty much all season long so far. And they're definitely the team to beat. And, of course, the Suns just way behind. Well, right now for the Suns, the thing with them is they haven't really established an identity for themselves as a team. They never have seemed to come up with a plan and, and stick to it for very long. They've been all over the place in, in terms of their identity. And I put that on the coaching staff more than anyone else, Clark. A coherent strategy has to be in place or it's impossible to climb up the standings. 
Six to shoot. Scooped up. Wizards trail by 12. We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And it's Butler missing. Oh, that's a frustrating one there. Easy look at the hoop. Bledsoe passes to Tucker to the inside. The shot's good from the mayor. The mayor's got the lead up to 14 now for the Suns. Some serious legislation from the mayor right there. And Beal kicks to Porter. Passes it to Beal. Shoots from 12. No good on the shot a bit long that time. I'll tell you what, for what's really a, an elementary shot, he looked a little nervous on that release. And the first half is now in the books. Phoenix ahead. They lead by 14. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. Okay, eyes up front, guys. Our fans are really liking what we've done so far, and so am I. Let's go through some things. First of all, a big nod to how well we've taken care of the basketball. We're not taking any unnecessary chances, and that's meant very few turnovers. I will give you credit for your offensive rebounding. You've really fought hard to keep possessions alive, and it's paid off. The pace of the game, just to bring that up real quick, isn't a huge concern because I think we're... Well, we're getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. Get up. You're going in. Here we go. Green, he's checked in for Brandon Knight, and it's Thornton in for Eric Bloodsoe. Then for the Wizards, Otto Porter Jr., he's checked in for Nene, and it's Butler in for Beal. So on the four for Washington. Gortat is out there with Pierce. Then it's Otto Porter Jr. Then it's Rasul Butler. And it's Sessions in at the point. And a moment here now to see the numbers for Gerald Green. He's been a standout for them the past few weeks. The numbers show it. He's putting up about 16 points a game, five rebounds, and two assists. And he really brings that offensive firepower to this team. Finding ways to score is his specialty. Yeah, that's his identity, Steve, among other contributions, obviously. But the ability to make plays that put up points, that's a major weapon in his arsenal. And Sessions kicks to Gortat. Tries again. Now the dish to Butler. Outside Pierce. Thornton against Butler. Pass to Gortat. It's hauled in by the Suns. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. And I thought, guys, they were the beneficiary of what was a, some lackluster defense being played against them. I agree with you. I mean, it was really shocking how many free runs to the hoop they got. Warren dishes to Thornton. There's the pick. From deep. Rebound by Butler. Butler's got his third rebound tonight. Here's Sessions. Can't get it to go. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our stage. I was hoping we'd get a chance to see this one again. Thank you, Lonnie, and the truck for showing it. But it's uh, passing like this that makes the basketball purists happy. This is the beauty of the game right here. The mayor in its center. Warren is out there with Marcus Morris. Then it's Goodwin, and it's Bullock in at the two spot. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Here's Webster. Here's Blair. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Blair's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for Washington. Here's Bullock. There's the pick. Over in the corner, Warren. Got it. Good job in the low post. Well, the popularity of the three-pointer at an all-time high. Steven, I'm sure you can appreciate that. The league even discussed adding a four-point line. Yeah, what about that? Please make this go away, Kevin. I mean, 
It's just crazy. It's way too extreme. I, I think even the three-point shot is probably overdone to this point. So I would say 100% no, I am against a four-point. Morris inside. Webster covering. Very well executed pick to give him all kinds of space to get that one off. From the Wizards, they're shooting at 36%. They really seem out of sync offensively. And if you think about the four-point line and the possibility of that, a lot of players already shoot from way beyond the three-point line. Guys like Steph Curry, Jamal Crawford. I think it would be exciting to see. I don't think we'll go there, but uh, I'd want the distance to be far enough away from the goal that players wouldn't shoot those four-pointers all the time. It would be a uh, specialty shot and one that wouldn't become real significant part of the game. Temple the pass to Humphreys. Kicks it to Bynum. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And I think some have worried that a four-point line would make the league too perimeter oriented. I, I think it's insane. I mean, the three-point line already stretches the floor and, and gives you an advantage if you have outside shooting. The four-point line, to me, is... You better than that. Not tonight, I'm not. The mayor is checked in for right. Warren comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's Thornton in for Brandon Knight. And then for Washington... Gortat's checked in for Bynum. Otto Porter Jr. comes in for Nene. And Rasul Butler's subbed in for Sessions. And Beal kicks to Butler. They swipe it. And we head to the final buzzer in a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. This will go in the books as a really gaudy win for the Suns. And they could do no wrong today, Steve. That's right. This was a team performing to its uh, Clark fullest capability. Yeah, and a very satisfying win for them, too. A game to remember. And on the other side, definitely one you want to forget as soon as possible. And so this is going to end up as victory number 24 on the year. Well, they've had this team's number all season. Two wins uh, in two meetings. Doesn't seem to matter what building they play in. Yeah, I thought the result might be different this time around, but clearly I was mistaken. I mean, now they'll have to wait until next year for a shot at revenge. Porter kicks to Butler. Pass to Porter. It's Bynum with the drive. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, at least the defender got his money's worth on that one. Yep, that was an easy whistle for the official. And the first one drops. And the Suns making a change here. Morris has checked in. Both shots good from the strike. 44 seconds left in the game. Ludzo against Bynum. Here's the mayor. And the Suns take on two more. Well, this is going to seal the deal. They've really exploded here to the finish line. You know, once they sniffed out that blood in the water, the killer instinct came right out. The drive by Bynum. Here's Gortat. That's in coming off the assist from Bynum. Looks like they're going to finish strong, but just aren't enough ticks left on the clock. Well, Steve, it's a good run they're having now, but they just waited too long to have it. Now Bledsoe. He dishes it to Morris. Back to Bledsoe. So it's the Suns winning easily here. Some days, Clark, everything goes right for a team, and they just had one of those games. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, these guys played a great all-around basketball game here. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, Kevin Harlan saying see you next time.